Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, Lenovo ThinkPad E15. Now this job is coming from uh, from a uh, local uh, computer repair shop, computer shop, and comes here with a specific uh, instruction about uh, what should I do. They said they checked the board and the TPS, the PD controller has to be replaced because it's getting too hot. The thing is, um, a chip can get hot from uh, various reasons. And one of them is having like a short uh, output. So not sure if uh, that's the problem. But anyway, we're going to replace that chip if it's faulty. I would say, let's open the laptop. And the laptop is open. That's an interesting note. So uh, they left... Uh, they left uh, a note, where is the chip? So probably the chip is on the other side, they said it's getting hot. You know what, let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. So we have the power meter, plug in the charger, and the meter it is coming on. And they have 19 volts, so we nearly no current. Does mean the chip is not getting hot. If the chip it will get hot or is faulty. I mean, can be faulty, can can get hot and actually the chip still be working. But here it's taking nearly no current and we have like 19 volts. I mean, it's nothing to check even with the thermal camera, it's not even point. No, I will see the power if it's taking uh, current. Cannot get, cannot get hot if it's not taking current. So why does this laptop is not working then? On the main power rail, main power rail, coil, MOSFETs, capacitor, we have 0 0.9 volts. Uh, which makes me believe actually this is the Lenovo, because there are many Lenovo having the exactly the same issue. You remember the one which the MOSFETs are falling down from the motherboard? So I can I believe can be that model. I would say let's take the board out and let's have a look. And the motherboard is nearly out. Yeah, it's out. We do have few ribbon cables here. Uh, let's have a look, let's see. Oh, lol. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one, I can't believe. Okay, let me leave the, the laptop on one side. Let's have a look under the microscope to that uh, chip and MOSFETs. I mean, check here, you can clearly see uh, the fir at least, you know, the first MOSFET is not really soldered there. So I'm going to plug the charger. Yeah, let's do this together. This motherboard has only one USB-C port. So plug in the charger. And if we are checking, let's see, here is the input voltage. No, here is the output, actually. So here is the input voltage, right? Here is the input voltage. Let me use the capacitor. 16, 17, one second. I'm doing something wrong. Ah, no, sorry. Here is the input voltage. 19.9. Yeah. After the first MOSFET, we have 19.4. So we are losing like nearly 0 0.5 volts over this MOSFET. Then on the output of this MOSFET, we have, like, check that, like, 6 volts. But on the top of the MOSFET, we have, like, 19. So if I push the MOSFET down, I mean, that's not really helpful. So why this is happening? Because the gate of the MOSFET doesn't have... Wait, one second, here it's over 25. 
Wait a second. Okay, that's strange. So on the gate of the MOSFET, we have 20. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you can't have 20. You can't have 20 because we have, you, you have to have the gate voltage with, that, with like 6 volts over the, the source voltage. So on, if you check from the source to gate, you have what? You have zero, you can see. So if you ask me, okay, sorry, but how, you know, how is passing the, you know, the MOSFET? The MOSFETs, they have an internal diode. So probably, probably uh, that's why we have there a drop on the voltage because it's passing through the internal diode. Uh, if this is a channel and the diode is on this direction, yeah. So let's make a deal together, okay? If you have this laptop and you have no problem, it's working fine, you have no issue with the laptop, just do yourself a favor and remove the MOSFETs right now. Don't replace the chip, just short the MOSFETs. This is pointless. It's absolutely pointless. I mean, even if you beat me badly, I still don't understand why we have two MOSFETs here if we have only one USB-C port. Now, I, I, I can't tell you why. I can't. That MOSFET, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that MOSFET jump out from the board. Yeah, this is the, this is the board with failing MOSFETs. So, I understand, your laptop is working, you have no issue with your laptop. Just remove the MOSFETs and short the MOSFETs. Do yourself a favor. You have to understand how hot this MOSFET uh, uh, got an order for the MOSFET to actually desolder by itself. So basically, if you don't remove the MOSFETs, so what you have here, you have a heater on the board. The solution, the solution is very simple, check here, yeah? Just a little bit of solder, and you go straight here. Perfect. Yeah, this is a proper calibrated bridge on my book. Oh. Perfect. Check that. That's what you have to do. More or less the, the solder bridge. You can use a wire. So now if we are plugging the charger in this moment... Plug in the charger. Ah, uh, it's not even point checking. I mean, it's nothing to check. Yeah, we do have uh, 19 from the gate to the source. We have like 1.4, check that. Because I'm pretty sure here um, are people, they know actually the schematics of this. And they thought, okay, so if if actually resolder that MOSFET back, I will have the right voltage on the gate, which is wrong. So why this happen? This happened because this chip has an issue, like from the factory. And yeah, that's what I believe, because here is no load on that chip. That chip is not getting hot. The chip actually is driving the, the MOSFETs. So that chip is doing basically no work. I mean, handling currents. So yeah, it's getting faulty because just, you know, poor design or whatever. You can see the board is on right now. It's taking like uh, nearly one amp. And here, this one is proper cool. Now you have no issue, no problems, nothing. So let me put this back together. I'm really sorry for the, for the computer shop. They sent me the board, but I'm not going to replace that chip. I prefer to lose the money, give the board back uh, if they don't accept the repair and, you know, no, no, no. You cannot replace the chip and give warranty. You can't do something like that because it's very, very possible it will come back on the, your warranty time. Let's say you give three months warranty. It is possible to, it will come back on the, the warranty time. So this, yeah, what you see in here, this is a proper fix. Yeah, There is no way in this world I'm going to 
replicate what actually the manufacturer did. And I'm going to follow the manufacturer schematic. No. Yeah, yeah, I am pissed off uh, because so many Lenovo's. I mean, probably you've seen like five, six videos with this specific fold. But I have a lot. I'm not doing videos with every Lenovo. From my point of view, they should recall uh, these laptops and, uh, you know, replace the motherboard or replace the chip with a proper one. I don't know. I mean, just think how many laptops like this are in the world with this fold. Hmm? Not even counting how many computer shops are there saying no to this repair or actually they don't really know how to fix this this fault because even this you know these people are fixing stuff i mean they diagnose the motherboard they have a thermal camera they seem probably that chip is getting worn now that two mosfets on the input it is making sense to be there if you have like two usb c ports and you need separation between the ports but having one port here, the MOSFETs are making no sense at all. No, 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 you don't have a current sensor. You don't have a current sensor if you think, okay, it's made in case like a high load. Uh, the current sensor, it will sense and it will uh, cut down the power for the MOSFETs. No, if you check the schematics, you have no current sensor till the MOSFETs. At least that's what I remember. On any case... I'm not going to replace that chip. That TPS chip, it's a very complex IC, the one which is faulty. But from the whole chip, it's like 99% is working, 0.1% is faulty. And actually what is faulty is, uh, is the part which is rising the voltage to 25 volts for the gates. But otherwise, that chip is speaking with the EC chip, and it is doing the job. It is negotiating the voltage. Speaking with the EC chip is speaking with the charger, so it's still good, 99%. But there I believe you have a charge pump which is uh, rising the voltage to 25, 26 volts for the gate. Basically, it's rising the voltage with like 6 volts for the gate, 6 volts from the main power rail. Okay, so the board is back in place. You know what, I forgot to take the stick. Okay, the sticker is on the battery. Yeah, good. Um, plug in the battery, plug in the charger. We have the charging light, it's taking like uh, 2.8 amps. Check that, 19 volts, perfect. Uh, the laptop, yeah, it is on. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. Uh, we have picture. Yeah, we reset the BIOS. Yeah. And the windows, it's on. Yeah, you can see the lines because of the refresh rate, but the screen is fine. So the laptop is taking like 2.8 amps. Unplug in the charger. Yeah, it's still holding the charge. Plug in the charger. And it's working fine. And this is what I call a repair. Made a video before. And uh, I said, make your own kind of music. Yeah, I mean, try to correct the manufacturer mistakes. Manufacturer is not a god. So uh, if he screwed up with the design or the components he used, try to make it right. Okay, perfect. I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.